running a successful enterprise has always included looking at competitors, looking at finances, looking at profit margins. But what are the top five invisible threats to a business in today's marketplace? In 2017, there are new challenges to a business which didn't exist uh, five or 10 years ago. Let's look at the top five. The first one is municipal government budgets. There are things that you have relied on as a business owner that the government has provided as services. Some of them are invisible. It may be education of your workforce. It may be uh, road conditions around your business. Uh, it may be uh, logical and efficient government. With the municipal budgets being squeezed as they are, some of those things that you come to rely on on your business, maybe regulation and uh, oversight of competitors are gonna go away, there won't be the budget for it. You may not see the effects of those directly re affecting your business, but you may see some erosion in margins and more difficult headwinds in your business that are occurring because of municipal budgets, so it's important to take a look at. Number two of the top five invisible threats to your business is the opioid epidemic and other narcotics. As um, cannabis becomes legal in more states and more acceptable, and as the opioids as a uh, prescribed medication becomes more widespread, it's going to affect performance and is perfect, uh, affecting performance of workforce, higher injury rates, more sick days, uh, even things like more errors in uh, construction of products and manufacturing of products can affect customer loyalty and customer satisfaction. This ex a higher acceptance of narcotics uh, in society may result in a more widespread use of them that can affect your business and even finding good employees. Number three, in terms of the top five invisible threats to business, is the ability of the workforce to cope with adversity. 20, 40, 30 years ago, you had a workforce that had exposure to World War II, the Great Depression, other challenges. So it built up uh, uh, an ability to deal with adversity and cope with adversity, where you may not have that now. As a society, we have not had these great challenges for decades. So because of that, the ability to cope with lower levels of adversity, maybe job stress, maybe competitors, may not be as, as ingrained in society, so you may have to deal with that more at a higher level in management rather than have your workforce deal with it. And those difficulties will go up the chain of command. You're gonna need better executives, but the value of those may go unnoticed by the people who are being supervised. Number four is AI. And that does not mean automation. It means things like your metrics and KPIs of your company that make your company valuable might be more commonplace and common knowledge in the marketplace. Your secret sauce of a company or the friction of barrier of entry for other companies may be eliminated uh, by artificial intelligence. The added value effort becomes more of a commodity if artificial intelligence can figure out in minutes, all the things that has taken you decades to put into your business model and into your KPIs. And last is the options for consumers is expanding exponentially. It used to be that consumers only had a certain number of options within a marketplace or even outside your marketplace. But nowadays, how many restaurants are there? How many flavors of potato chips are there? How many creative entertainment types are out there? Not only does this affect those businesses and industries, but it affects yours because it fragments the spending capacity of consumers and even of businesses. That fragmentation of discretionary income will affect all businesses as those slices of marketplaces become more diverse and people will move from one hot product to the next and not have the loyalty. So those five threats to businesses did not exist a decade or two ago, and as businesses were developed and evolved, did not include dealing with those. In the future, those five business challenges need to be factored in to executive management and quality leadership.